What's up everybody and welcome back to my series on using Expand in Pro Tools. It's all kind of instrumental tracks that I'm making, beats, tunes, whatever you want to call them. Today we're going to be making a track, it's kind of, there's a bit of organ in there and there's a bit of electric guitar, all true MIDI, all true stock plugins. There's so much in Expand, you can create a whole song from scratch. But if you're just starting out using MIDI, I'm going to put up a link at the end, a little card at the top with tips on starting at the very beginning using expand and using MIDI drawing it in you don't even need a keyboard and it starts at the very basics at the very beginning I'll also put other links in to more of these series that I've made with expand in Pro Tools all different kinds of tunes atmospheric pop synthy kind of sound synthy kind of uh, beats or sounds as well or synthy tunes basically but the track we're going to be doing today is sounds a bit like this So we're on 1-1 one, one BPM here on Pro Tools and this first sound is in soft pads and it's called Heavenly Bell Pad and it goes a little bit like this Then the next thing I'm going to do is, which I do so often, which is the great thing about MIDI, is I'm going to right click the track and just duplicate it and click OK for everything, all the boxes checked and then I'm just going to change the sound, which is in organs and it's called Full Rock, number 14. I'm going to bring down the volume but 7 dB. <laughs> So you can see the way just something as simple as duplicating the tracks the way it can change the sound and really emphasize it. So that's something cool to do. It's early on but I think I'm going to just add a little bit of higher. <laughs> So I'm going to add a little bit of texture here in ambience and effects. It's number 68, it's called Pouring Data. Groovy kind of sound. So the bass sound, it's in synth basses, and it's number 39, it's called Soft Thumper. So coming in along with the bass, we have a wood wood sound in brass and woodwind. It's number 44, it's called wood wood. Cool sound. Time for a little bit of kick. Then underneath that kick you can see that I've just added in some kind of flutters with a with a different hi hat. You can see the way they're just they add a little bit of flavour to it. 
to the track. So it's just experimenting really, you know, doing that with hi-hats, uh, it adds a little, it adds kind of movement and it's it's just something a little bit different in the in the tune or in the instrumental because things like that you can you can play around with. There's no set rules, you can have three, four, five hi-hats if you want, you can have two or three or four kicks and snares even too. Anything is go. So strings always sound good, so let's put in some legato. Big legato pad. Now we're going to put in a soft lead. Electrical Hazard number 29. I love these names. Now under this electric hazard I went a bit crazy with a heavy distorted guitar for something a little bit different. It's number 44 called the wall of power. I mean you can't say that's a, not a good guitar sound. If there's even feedback if you listen to the end of it you can hear the feedback on the amp. I mean, that's MIDI, that's an expand, it's brilliant. So underneath the wall of power, I've got this cool flute sound. It's in brass and woodwind, number 36. Cool flute sound. Then we have a little bit of piano, just single notes. Piano and A choir number eight. So time for some kick and snare and that should be it. So that's another episode over for this week folks, hope you got something from it and you enjoyed enjoyed the sounds that we went through and expand. I hope you're getting over the lockdown, we've all been we've all been locked down for the last year, a year and a half and hopefully it's coming to an end now and people are beginning to go out and about and I think it's, it's, it's looking good you know so hope, hopefully you're all keeping the positive side out and you're beginning to live life again because it wasn't easy in lockdown i think some of us nearly went crazy including me but it's all good now it's, it's getting there 
So what I'm going to do now before I finish out with the track, I'm going to put up that little card there for the link to the tips on using Expand with MIDI in Pro Tools if you're a beginner. And it, it just goes through the different processes of, of creating a track. Basically what I was doing here today, it's, um, it's very simple stuff. So if you're a beginner, I'm sure you get something from that. And then at the very end of the video, I'm going to put up a card to the playlists of the rest of these episodes in the series that I've made so far. It's a series of all different types of, of tracks. It's atmospheric, it's pop, it's synthy kind of stuff. It's all using expand and stock plugins in Pro Tools. So you don't necessarily have to have Pro Tools to be able to do it. Once you have expand, at least you'll get a you get an idea of the sounds. Hopefully you like what I'm doing and if you do I'd appreciate if you'd like and subscribe and it helps the channel to grow. It's strange because I've put up some videos there on the focus right liquid sapphire 56 a lot of people seem to still use it but it seems to be getting all the views you know so I'm gonna make more videos about that and recording guitar and basically recording songs which I've done in this room I'm gonna put put them up on the tracks with, with, with acoustic guitar and how I done it and the microphones I used and all that but if you're into the MIDI and you're into expand and all this kind of stuff I mean it's, this is the kind of stuff you want to be doing during lockdown because this is what will get you through. In general, it's it's great to be doing this this music, you know. So hopefully you enjoyed today's video and it'll be great to see you in the next one. I'm gonna release another one next week. I'm gonna release one every week. So thanks for watching and hope to see you in the next video. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.